Today, we're answering the cinematic... What? All right. We're entering the cinematic realm of YouTube, and there's a lot. I decided to pick out some short films on YouTube that I thought were intriguing by the title. And so in this reaction, I'm gonna go check those out and really break down some of the stuff, whether it's effects, there's a lot of sound design, and some pretty good color grading as well. So if you're interested in any of those and how it's put into a film, a short film, keep watching. Now, on to the video. <sighs> YouTube itself is a very big place with a lot of videos and there's a lot of stuff uploaded on it in general. And when you look through some of that, you'll stumble upon something called a short film. Essentially, it's pretty much just a mini movie. Short film, that's where it comes from. And I realized that there are a lot of them on YouTube, but I've picked out some that I thought were interesting. And so we're gonna check out a few of these and get to breaking down some of the stuff behind. I'm going to assume there's gonna be a lot of sound design, uh, some effects maybe, and color grade and all that kind of stuff. But it's got that cinematic feel and very film-like, which I definitely enjoy watching. So let's go ahead and check out the first one. Okay, here we got A Boring Morning but cinematic. Let's see how cinematic this actually is. I got a letter this morning, boy. Hey, hey, I got a letter this morning, boy. Okay, so already, I mean, we're only 30 seconds. It's only a minute long, so there's not too much. But as far as like the length of the video, the grade here, the grade here that we got is somewhat vibrant, a little bit saturated. You got the blues and the oranges that contrast with each other as far as the grade goes. And then with the start, there was a dramatic hit to just set off the whole short film. And then there's sound design behind everything. And with this, you know, there's no speaking moments. So you really want to focus in on really amplifying the sound design in a short film like this. And then the credits were included inside of the film itself uh, instead of like a separate screen or anything. But we got about 30 seconds for this one. Let's see what. Let's see what let's see. Got some espresso. Well, pretty uh, pretty straightforward as far as the filming and the editing goes. It was cut up together to make it look really cinematic, graded to make it look cinematic. And all right, let's see what this is. 2 a.m. Coffee, a short film. It's 4K. It's about two minutes long. Interesting. So, like I said before, a lot of the these are very cinematic short films. There's a 
plenty of different types of short films on YouTube. I just, I'm checking out some of the more cinematic, well put together in a film type of way. Not saying that like the comedy stuff isn't well put together, all that. You understand what I'm saying. But again, this started off, it's just to make it dramatic. It started off with a riser at the beginning with a black screen and then a dramatic hit. to establish the shot showing the gas station. And we already know what's happening because of the title, 2 a.m. coffee. But there's sound design behind the bike that's going. And the color grade, again, it's actually, I don't think it's as vibrant here. It's a little bit more dull. It's got some of those like blue tones. Now he did fade out the music a little bit before it was kind of like a fade instead of a cut i mean you could do that multiple ways you could either fade which is what he did before he walked into the door he faded the music or whenever the camera goes inside you could just completely cut the music and so now he's got the ambience going behind it and let's see what the rest is looking like See, yeah, so very, very detailed when it when it comes to focusing on the sound design. In this shot specifically, it's outside, so you won't hear that ambient. You actually hear the ambience of outside itself instead of inside. And so there's like small details that really add on to making a film especially when it comes to the sound design. And so you'll notice wherever it cuts back in, you hear some of that ambience once again from inside. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that music selection, the tracks, especially for the ending there. If you don't understand what happened, his bike got stolen. That's why he's looking around like that. So it's a very simple idea when it comes to the film. I think the main purpose of this was to capture just the cinematic element of an everyday. Well, I guess not everybody goes to the gas station at 2 a.m. to grab a coffee, but you get what I'm saying. This one as well didn't have any vocals, which I've realized a lot of these don't as far as these shorter ones. So let's see what there is. Let's see if there's anything else that has a little bit more. Okay. As far as I know, this one has some vocals that we can check out. And this is called Sophisticated Fun, a cinematic fashion film. Let's see what's going on here. So, if I'm hearing this right. All right. There are some vocals here. We're having a conversation. And that shot looks pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. The grade looks sick as well. It's very warm, cozy type of feel. Because I'm guessing this is like a therapist type of interaction here. So, yeah. In your dream, you're a detective. Interested. 
and okay. you said something about so right there I mean, we got some where well, he just said detective, so some of that music was playing. And there's sound design between every cut, pretty much, on that paper there. It was like a, an interesting, unique type of sound that, that went with the cuts. It makes it, you know, creative, especially in the sound design portion. And then going back into, there was like some riser or like wind type of sound going back to the interaction from what I'm guessing is what's in his mind. Interesting. Obviously, which is him being a detective. And so uh, it's pretty interesting. Oh, feeling stuck. So he just did it once again. So I'm going to assume he's going to do that for the rest of the film. But yeah, there's a there's a there's like a wind type of sound going into real life. Going nowhere. And whenever you say going nowhere, there was a match cut in different areas where he was walking or running. And obviously the camera wasn't moving, so he wasn't going anywhere. And so, and the sound design between every cut as well in that. Very in sync when it comes to the sound effects here. Do you feel like you're going nowhere in life? So tell me about this print you see everywhere. So what do you think? The music is very well blended together in this. It kind of all just mixed together very well when it comes to like at the beginning with that detective type of music and then now to this, it's more sophisticated. It did a very good job in that. A lot of these flash transitions seems to be, there's like a slight spin speed ramp whenever the flash happens into the next thing. There's like a slight, which gives it that, that shock factor when it comes to the cut. Makes it more dramatic, I guess. More creatively, you know, dramatic because it has a little speed ramp. You like that? All right. Okay. There's a little bit of a warp. I'm going to guess that it was a like underwater type of warp effect because you could see the, the waves kind of going across. And that's just, you know, in, in editing software, so there's that type of effect. Obviously, it's probably adjusted and brought down or however it needs to be. But that's kind of how the warp was going with, with the wind, which again, it's a very creative way to showcase that wind pushing back. So, what do you think? Oh! Yeah, so, I mean, essentially, the transition into the eye or the shot of the paper through his eye is, one, it's tracked to his eye, but it slowly fades in and it has kind of a transitioning through. You kind of just mask around the eye. And then as it's going through, you add a little bit of, seemed like there was a little bit of a warp type of effect to it. And then as it went through the eye, that mask transparency goes all the way up. So it's transparent, obviously, as it, as it goes through. And then there was a subtle movement afterwards, zooming in just to make it flow nice from that movement. Yeah, yeah, that was, 
I mean, that was only a minute and a half, and that was a lot to break down, I'm not gonna lie. That will be all for today. Now, I did pick out a few to look at, but there are plenty more. Hundreds, millions, well, I don't know about millions, but there are a lot more on YouTube. And if you, you know, stumble across some, feel free to let me know in the comments. Anyway, that'll be all for today. And I'll see you at the next edit.